Hello everybody, welcome back to Spinner Rack Review. Today we're looking at Batman Who Laughs number four. This is one of the top comics from DC and we are liking it. You know, Snyder, the writer, Jock, the artist, you gotta give enough credit. The coloring is off the chain. The paper on this particular comic is much heavier than the average um, comic. And you know, it all tells us this is a special event, this is a special comic, and that we need to go out there and get it. And I gotta say, you know, I've had some bumps and rides on this, on this ride, but I'm liking it so far. So here, let's get into the comic. So in this comic, the last one, in number three, we see that Batman basically gives himself the neurotoxin for um, for Joker that makes people buck wild crazy. And so now he's de he developed a visor. And when Alfred sees it, he's like, what the hell? He's pissed off. I mean, he's like, yo, this can't be my boy. And they start fighting and arguing and stuff like that. But Batman eventually calms him down. He explains or I explained previously that the whole reason the visor is needed is that the visor allows the um, Batman who laughs to see the dark energy. He's able to see people's um, fears and likes. You know, he's able to um, drown out what he wants to and see exactly where he wants to go. So he's saying with this visor, he's able to see exactly what the Batman who laughs looks at and where he's going to be able to, like the new Bruce Wayne's going to pop up and stuff like that. So this is what he needs in order to get ahead of him. And so he's taking this stuff just for a short time, but he's not killing. He's not going buck wild like the Batman who, who laughs. So, you know, Alfred, I think just out of love is just going to say, you know what, I'm just going to let him do what he has to do. And he's not agreeing with it, but he's going to do it. So Batman who laughs, Batman who laughs. So Batman, he basically goes out into Gotham, you know, of course, naturally disguising his Batmobile because that's what he likes. You know, he's like a cab or a Ford or a sedan or some type of sedan or whatever. And he is just, you know, trying to find out where the next Bruce Wayne is going to hit or drop out from another dimension. So Batman is to continue to look. But, you know, in the, in the, while he's doing about doing this, he encounters the Joker. You know, the Joker who was supposedly dead uh, and he was in Batman's back cave and then he escaped. He encounters the Joker and basically the Joker comes out and says, hey, I don't want either one of us to win. It's kind of weird. Basically, I want us neither to win because I guess he likes the whole fact that they are fighting one another. You know, um, Bat Joker, it was, we've seen in different comic books and different animation they he considers him his friend god knows how and so he hopes to die you know it's a crazy crazy situation but it continues to confirm it now let's go over to um what's been happening with um commissioner gordon so commissioner gordon is with the grim batman and batman who laughs and the batman who laughs basically comes out and admits that um you know Gordon was somebody he looked up to until, of course, he was killed by the Joker. While the opposite was the Grim Batman, who um, um, Gordon was his greatest enemy. And so what happens here is that when the, the Batman who laughs leaves, the Grim Batman basically sets um, the, the crazy Robins on him, you know, to kill him. And that's where it ends off. Hopefully he doesn't die, because we all like Commissioner Gordon, but that's where it goes off. But it's an interesting story that we were talking about there. Batman then goes to Black Gate prison and the reason i had to say it like that black gate because i keep mispronouncing it black gate prison where he thinks that's where the next bruce wayne is going to show up and he is correct um when he's there he encounters a cop who is a, a sergeant someone in charge of the, the the security and he's like yo listen i'm batman i'm not really the batman who laughs i'm trying to get this thing resolved so the guy gives him some uh, chances but um, unfortunately, it doesn't work out the way he thinks. Guess the Bruce Wayne that he who actually shows up there is actually the Bruce Wayne of another world, and he's a prisoner, a much older Bruce Wayne. And um, unfortunately, that sergeant, that that officer that he was working with, is actually the Batman who laughs, and he ends up killing that other bat, that other Bruce Wayne, in order to get his his blood, so he can develop this crazy serum that he's trying to get so uh it was a wild episode there's a lot going on and i gotta say i enjoyed it you know i wasn't expecting this many twists and turns and i gotta say keep it up snyder you know i just can't wait to the conclusion to see how this ends but you know it is uh enjoyable and so i suggest anybody who was interested in it who likes snyder who likes the art and definitely the story you need to go out and grab it spin rack out